Well, time is running out to grab your tickets for Crisis Services Men Who Cook. I, as well as many other local talented chefs, will be serving up incredible food next Wednesday at the Admiral Room in downtown Buffalo. All the money raised benefits life-saving services. And for more, we're joined now by Cameron Burns, the Community Outreach and uh, education and outreach coordinator for crisis services. Thank you so much yes, for joining us. Thanks. Let's talk about this. Men yeah. Who Cook, give us the details of why this is such a cool, fun event to attend. So first of all, it's at the Admiral Room at the Marin, which is just a beautiful space if you've ever been there. Uh, and it's a really great opportunity to not only, you know, give back to crisis services, yeah. the money all goes to back to our agency, but to taste some really excellent food from some really great local businesses. Um, and it's a great way to figure out like where you want to go to eat next time you go out to eat with your friends, you know, you want to check Dave's out. Maybe Dave's Kitchen. Maybe <laughs> Dave's House. <laughs> um, you know, like wing nuts and, and tacos, community and beer, like, typical coffee, platters, chocolates, like there's just such a good variety of things for you to kind of taste and sample what's around Buffalo. Now we have changed the format up depending on, you know, the pandemic and of yeah. course the number of people when we had, you know, 500 people, it was in a bigger room and things like that. We've done a lot of different things over yeah. the years. It's always been a success. Tell us about the format this year. If you buy a ticket yeah. and you will buy it, it is worth every penny, I assure you. Yeah. What do you get for that ticket? So if with that ticket, you get the stations of food from each of the each of our wonderful amazing chefs uh, there's also live entertainment and then there's some great basket raffles I saw them being put together today in our conference room and and there's some really great items too to raise money awesome who are some of the other chefs beyond Dave here <laughs> that will be so, there some of the things that I'm really excited, I'm really excited about wing knots. Yes. I think that'll be really great. The Platters Chocolate Station is always one of my favorites. Uh, tacos, Community, and Beer is, is going to be amazing. I've seen some of the menus for those. Um, those are just some of the ones that I'm really excited for. Buff State, their chefs always come and do an amazing job. It's just a really great opportunity. All of the food is great. Tell us a little bit about what this benefits. We've mm -hmm. all heard, I think, of crisis services. And if you've watched us at any point during the past several years, we always have a crisis services um, yeah. reference, if you will, particularly for some of the more difficult stories yeah. uh, in our community. So we're really thankful that we have that connection. We can yeah. send our viewers to crisis services. What are some of the things that people might not know about your organization that yeah. you are 24 seven Always available. 24 7, 365 during a tornado now, during a blizzard, during a global pandemic, we're Erie County's 24 hour crisis center. So we help folks with things like mental health, suicide prevention, as well as we're the Rape Crisis Center and we provide services for domestic violence survivors as well. Uh, we also answer 988, the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline for the Western New York region. So we do so much 24 7, we never close, and it's really great to see people want to learn more about us and kind of give back. Yeah, that's good. When someone calls you, um, what are some of the things you're going to walk them through? And mm -hmm. then do you help them with future services down the road? Yeah. It's not just that one-time yeah. phone call. They're, you're going to help them in whatever they need in the future. Yeah, so our crisis counselor's on the phone, either with calling 716-834-3131 or 988, go through with all of our callers, you know, what it is they're looking for, which program and services. And I like to say our crisis counselor phone workers are really kind of rock stars because they don't know what they're picking up the phone to. I mean, it could be somebody who's having a suicidal crisis, somebody who's experienced sexual violence and wants to know their rights and their options, or it could be just me, someone calling me to come in and do an interview. Um, and so they really don't know what they're picking up the phone to. And so they go through that person, what it is they're looking for. We screen everyone for suicide. Uh, we do crisis de-escalation right on those lines, some emotional support, that kind of thing. And then if they want some services from our agency, whether it be for our mental health outreach program, for our advocate program, they will link the, them directly with that person. You know, And if we don't do whatever the service is, we'll give them a referral to who does. Absolutely amazing. And not a lot of charities, not a lot of events can say that the money raised stays in the community. Every penny raised stays in the community. That is true with crisis services and men who cook. The money we stays, it goes right to programs that Cameron was just talking about. Um, yeah. As we, as you talk about the logistics, yes. so how people can get tickets, yes. I think we're going to bring up my dish and I'll talk a little <laughs> bit about it as well. So Great. if folks want to buy tickets, how can they go and what's our deadline? So tickets end tonight at midnight, so I guess 11.59 p.m. ticket sales end. Just go to our website at www.crisisservices.org. Um, 
backslash men who cook 2024. There's an option right on the website there to get your tickets now. It's going to be a great event. It is going to be a fantastic event. Great. And we, if, 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 if anyone has any questions about anything, we'll of course have this on the website, wivb.com. Once again, that dish that you just saw was a, a roasted acorn squash nudie. Uh, and I sear that off and then I uh, add some pork braised kale and then finish it with guanciale, which is kind of a beef cheek, kind of smoky, porky flavor. Uh, a little bit of the acorn seeds that I roast off with a special seasoning and then finish with a little shaved Asiago. It is a very good Sounds fall good. bite. And I can tell you, I am a complete amateur. The <laughs> chefs that will be at Men Who Cook are professionals and their dishes are far, far better than mine. So it is a great, great dish. Thank you again okay. for being Thank here. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so Thank much, you. Cameron.